Hey, what's going on YouTube? This Southern Knights coming back at y'all with another video. And I'm out here in Academy right now, you know, at my local Academy. And I know y'all seen them long lines that I showed y'all. So the reason why I did that, to let, let y'all know that I wasn't exaggerating when I tell y'all that the lines is wrapped around the building. It's literally making a ring around the building to the point where they had to make a double line. This how serious it is right now, <laughs> you know, at finding this ammo. This is why I say the ammo 2.0 is, is here, basically, because I haven't seen this in probably like a month now. So, yeah, I'm outside Academy right now. You know, it's kind of cleared up now because all the ammo is gone already. All the 5.56s, the 223s, all of that is gone. They bought it up. Most of the people, you know, they, the way they do it here at my local academy, if something runs out, they pretty much announce it either on the intercom, cause that's how long the lines is. I'm telling y'all, they got to announce it on the intercom to tell them, look, we out of 556 or we out of 223 or whatever they out of, they got to announce it. So when they announce something and they call it out, and nine times out of ten, you can be able to tell what people come from because if they say, well, for example, they out of five, five, six, you know, they'll basically walk out the line. So, <laughs> so basically, that's how it is. So you know the people in line, you know what they coming for when they call it out. If, uh, if it ain't nothing in there, they'll pretty much walk out the line. But I found a you know hidden treasure that. I haven't seen in a very long time and this this buck ammo right here 12 gauge you know this 12 gauge was like what 20 28 dollars so this is a hundred rounds of 12 gauge like I said I haven't seen this in a while you know and me personally this would do me just fine like I don't have to really stockpile much on 12 gauge you know, because, you know, I got a few boxes back, but this right here, if I can, you know, get a few of these, that pretty much solidify me on the 12 gauge. So this is my ammo score for today. This is what I was coming for. I wasn't really looking for any 5.56 or 2.23. You know, I was basically looking for, you know, the buck. Well, not a buck. I was actually looking for just a box. But just so happened, they just had the buck ammo. So I decided, well, I'm going to go ahead and get the buck ammo because you don't know when they're going to have these again. This is like a hit and miss up here at Academy. You know, sometimes some days they have it and some days they don't, you know, but it's been a while since they have a buck or 12 gauge ammo. You know, the last buck I seen was steel case, you know, what five five six so this is the last time i seen a book of ammo come in the 12 gauge like this and you know this used to be if if the if everything failed they had some 12 gauge or 20 gauge you you'll see a buck of this but this haven't been you know they haven't been pushing this for a while so basically you know i look up on some today so hopefully, you know, they have more of these, but I say two or three of these, you know, I they'll do me just fine on, you know, 12 gauge ammo because like I said, I don't really have to stockpile on them, but if I see them, I'll get them, but I'm not I say probably like a good 500 rounds of shells will probably cuz I don't really shoot shotgun that much i do but i don't <laughs> you know on the reason why you know i'm doing it now because you know it's a uh, ammo you know i i say it's a good ammo shortage out here right now the ammo shortage 2.0 is basically coming back to a you know in, in effect full force so that's the reason why i'm getting like a 12 gauge ammo right now because you don't know when this next crisis is going to take place to where everybody is going to be searching for a certain type of caliber, a certain type of ammo, 
and it will it's gonna be nowhere to be found because that's the only reason why i'm kind of stocking up on the 12 gauge because i don't know how these events gonna play out in the next few days so you know when these events play out people are gonna start rushing and getting the ammo and you know it might not be nothing available you know so before nothing don't be available on 12 gauge i decide to stock up now you know so like i said this box right here 100 rounds do me just fine you know and this is i i wish i could have got majority of these before all of this took place because i think these right here if i'm not mistaken the 100 rounds were like twenty dollars at one time if i'm not mistaken probably like a year and a half back when i came into academy yeah that was like you get these for like twenty dollars but they still a reasonable price though you know ten dollars up you know it was probably only a ten dollar boost but whatever you know but other than that you know it's still a reasonable price but yeah I'm just coming to y'all with this quick video, though. You know, I just thought I'd share my morning routine with y'all to show y'all that I'm not exaggerating about the lines. The lines is crazy. You saw it, you know. You saw the lines posted up. You saw the lines in the stores. And I'm letting you know that, look, it's really real out here. I am not exaggerating, you know. That's the reason why I post the lines up. They try to get a quick snap of the video. Cause I didn't want nobody to see me filming. So I kind of got a, you know, quick footage of the the line and how they was calling the stuff. I, I don't, I don't know whether y'all hear them calling out ammo when I was filming or not, but you know, I didn't really go back and look at the footage, but I just filmed to let y'all see how long the lines really were. Now the first line, the first line that I post up there, that won't the front line. That was the line around the building. That wasn't the line that was coming towards the building. That was the line around the building because I got here kind of late. So I was around the building. I wasn't in front of the building. You should have seen the line in front of the building. You know, and I I, I could have filmed that, but if I would have filmed it, then people would have probably saw me filming them because I was parked right there close to the line so i was like it's this close <laughs> to them almost so basically that's the reason why i went on ahead went to the back of the line let y'all get a good glimpse of the back of the line and let y'all see how real it is out here and people are going back and getting this ammo due to these events that's going on right now because it won't really i ain't seen a line like this in like almost a month and a half but soon we did, these events took place, bam, the lines started coming back. So this is what's really going on, you know. The you know everything is still full effect. The ammo shortage is you know still still here. So I'm letting y'all know. Look, get this ammo, get these accessories, because these next few days, due to these events and what I'm seeing. I don't know how stuff is going to turn out, but if it go left, then you already know what it's going to do to the ammo industry, you know, especially right now in the condition to where it is right now. So if you can get certain, you know, caliber, if you lack of something or you feel like you need more of it, then go out and get you some more. Cause like I said, I mean, the only thing I was probably really kind of lacking was you know 12 gauge ammo but i'm kind of trying to build my 12 gauge ammo since i got everything tweaked up on it like i want to so now i'm trying to rebuild the ammo because you know la last year or a few years back i kind of you know shot most of the ammo out but we didn't expect this pandemic was going to come either you know and it's and what called to the ammo shortage minus all the protests and all of this other stuff that's really going on right now and it's causing people to go out and defend their land because up north right now you got you know cops then you got protesters you know rider whatever you want to call them they are face to face on people property and the people is complaining about the tear gas 
is coming in there and the kids choking while they try to sleep. So it, 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 they say it's look like a war song on their line right now in Minnesota. And I told y'all about them cities, right? Then I told y'all about them cities. I told you this was going to happen. So now you got people in the city caught in the line of the crossfires and they in their apartment sucking up tear gas every night because this like what day eight now of them protests in Minnesota. And you see how strict the laws up there with gun rights and all of this stuff. So they can't even defend themselves. If it get out of control, how many people up there got firearms that can defend themselves? If something spiral out of control, you see what happened the last time. So that's what I'm saying. So I'm just going to bring y'all this quick video, though. Let y'all see the scenery and academy. Like I said, it calmed down now. You know, it ain't nothing really going on out here because everybody done. Like I said, the early bird get the first worm. And the people that was out here early, they got all the good stuff. So a lot of people left out of the lines. That's the reason why the line came and went kind of quick because, you know, and I think this shipment, it wasn't that many, you know, it wasn't that many stuff on this shipment due to the Sundays, but Wednesday may be different. Who knows? But I'm going to see what's going on, though. I just came out here basically to show y'all this footage and see what was going on, just to show y'all how real it was. And that's the only reason why I really wanted to come out here to let y'all know to get the footage, to let you know, hey, this, this stuff is getting real. People's catching on. People looking at the news. So this is what's going on right now. So I'm showing y'all the line, how, how these lines is. Go ahead and get this stuff before it get, get scarce out here. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off on this video. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. You know, feel free to donate if you choose to. You know, links in the description boxes. So I catch y'all on the next video. Peace.